Hey guys. Oh, this one's it's not. What? It wasn't open. Like, oh. you know, it's not open. Okay, that's good now. Oh, what's up, guys? So, <laughs> we finally got stickers. We got 25 of them, I believe, right? No, 15. 15. 15, yeah. Yeah, I got 15. 15. Yeah, so uh, we're going to be doing a sticker giveaway. Um, probably this video. Are we make this video? Yeah. 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 Know. Yeah, Sorry. whatever. Okay. Um, yeah, if you guys want a sticker, just drop a comment below. Any comment will get you entered to the giveaway. And um, there'll also be a link yeah. in the description so you can buy them online too. Yeah, we're gonna sell for 10 bucks, uh, free shipping. So uh, uh, it is Tuesday, so we'll pick a winner next Tuesday. Sweet. Yep, and uh, whoever wins will uh, pay for shipping and give you a sticker. Yep, so they're pretty cool. They're transfer stickers, you can put them wherever you want. I'm gonna show you gone. what it looks like on my car because we're gonna yeah. put one on today. Yeah. So today on the Miata, we're placing the master cil slave cylinder, not the master cylinder. Here's the old one. The slave cylinder. Because my clutch has been, uh, well, my clutch has been working fine, but um, every now and then, like, I'll lose all clutch action, I guess you can say, all clutch travel. And uh, the fluid and the, ma and the master cylinder will just go completely dry. So I got a leak in the uh, slave. So it's a $20 fix, really cheap, yeah. and it's easy. So that's what we're doing. So, yeah. Basically, first step, take off the, the uh, front passenger tire, and there's a point to it. It sits right there. Yeah. There's two bolts right there, and it sits right there. Really accessible. There's two bolts. So it sits like this, basically, in the car. And there's two bolts right here and right here, and they are, I think, 12 millimeters. You're gonna need an extension, so it's a, it's a 12 millimeter. And then for the for the hose, it's gonna be a uh, 10 millimeter. And you're gonna need a wrench for that, obviously. And then, yeah, so that's pretty much it. And then we're also gonna show you guys how to bleed it, which applies to, uh, to brakes, too. Yep, so, alright guys, so we got the new slave cylinder in right there. So the last step to doing this is to bleed it, and uh, it's really easy, but basically, we're just getting all the air out of the system. Alright, so basically what you do is you take the bleeder nipple right there, and you have someone pump the clutch a couple times, and then they, they hold the clutch down, screw the nipple, so fluid and air comes out, and then once the, all the air comes out, you close it again, and then you have your friend pump it again, pump the clutch again. All right, so basically, I'm just pumping the clutch right now, and then it's, and then I hold it, let all the fluid. You'll feel the pedal like lose pressure whenever he, the, all the fluid is released. You'll feel it lose pressure. And what that means is that the brake fluid is going through the system and bleeding out. That's why it's called bleeding the clutch. And this is essential so you don't have any air bubbles in here. So you go ahead and pump it again. And then you feel the pressure come back on after about the second pump. You feel some more pressure. It's a little leg workout. So now we're just taking the, changing the spark plugs. Right now. Yeah. Just finished bleeding the There's one. clutch. Check it out. That's actually pretty good. Kind of lean though. Look how much oil's on that. Yeah. So, a little bit of carbon, yeah, too. carbon build up. Same thing. So much oil on these. You know what that means? Either valve stems or piston wheels. One or two. Rings. Definitely. That's not that big of a deal. Yeah. Probably the easiest thing you can do on your car. Tune up, yeah. Is motor wise. So, I didn't know this, but uh, usually, like, spark plugs have like a 5,000 5, to 10,000 mile lifespan. I did not know that. Yeah, so I didn't mind mine would probably need to change it if that's the reason. Yeah. So. Here's a shot of this tech screen. Oh uh, tech screen. <laughs> that's so, so you, cool. So you can literally get that and it'll have gauge. Like Yeah. So what I wanted to do is get like an iPad, mount this just right here, and I got all my gauges. Hell yeah. That'd be cool. That'd be freaking cool. An iPad mini. It tells you so much. Chuck in joints, everything. Oh yeah. 
tells you anything. I don't have it on right now, but it'll tell you any check engine light, like your trouble codes, and then every stat you could want. That's so cool. Yeah. What just happened? <laughs>